Hi guys. I hope we can hear each other out and here. So, brief introduction. My name is Paros Parse, a phone on address. And I'm on the track owner of Perl Wiki and also Media Wiki and Semantic Media Wiki uh, uh, administrator. So, let's go back to the project and let's start its short introduction of the project. So, Origin was only for Semantic Media Wiki, but because the conference was merged with Media Wiki, there's also short talk of Media Wiki. So these are top six topics we will go through. First, the project introduction, yet another wiki. This is a valid knowledge base. So Media Wiki, you can see all back to screen, what everything that used to be. And this project simply is concentrated only one topic. So it's Media Wiki. In Media Wiki is only knowledge base with only one topic. But it's actually an underlying project is for 25 sub projects. Some are some are overview, some are not. And that it contains about 10% of expected content. It, it's based on Media Wiki. The first version was 26.2 and it was regularly updated except we had about two, two and a half years break during COVID. So the content is obviously uh, related to music and violin, composers, violinists, teaching places, scales, ethics, everything like that. Why, that's why Media Wiki? Uh, this was decided long time ago during the foundation of the project. At that time, there were two competitors, DocuWiki and Media Wiki. And first was DocuWiki tested by Media Wiki was selected. Even if it was huge in comparison, its scalability. Recording in progress. And this meeting is being recorded. Its scalability and future needs were chosen. In this video, it was a role model. Pavel, just, just a short question. We're still seeing slide number one. Is that correct? No, it's moving. It's already got up slide number three. Zoom is not no, we are, we are moving still, on. We are still seeing, seeing slide number one. Your slides are not moving. Uh -uh. So, I, I think you have to... Ah, yeah. Now this something's moving. Is it moving? Yes, now we are on slide five. Okay, I will do everything manually. Okay. It's just that we don't give a feedback because when I'm in full screen mode, I don't see the slides, but they are moving on my side. So let's go back. In initially was and we give us a role model with all updates the as as possible. And it was about 50 uh, with 50 extensions. But later the policy change was changed because upgrades became a major headache. You always get one day what gets broken with extensions. So now it's only on LTS with one set in line, again with 50 extensions. And staying on LTS it reduces your testing time and makes it life really easier. Uh, policy reversal was an installation and usage as well. Because initially it was to provide as much as function with as possible. Now it's only to provide the necessary, necessary functionality and only indispensable extensions. The fewer extensions are in, installed, the less dependencies and issues. So stability is preferred over new versions. Now we come to why semantic media wiki. Can you see the right slide now? No. We are on slide number two. That zoom doesn't work, doesn't work as usual. Just sharing. Yes, now I have see slide number five. Okay, so I will do it in Slide number five. Okay. So why semantic media wiki? There was a need to create output from the existing data and dual wiki. One of the most Frequently used function like is embedding media, usually videos or audios. There are a couple of sounds of them now. And there was usually a problem with the, like duplicate use, inconsistent description information. 
Soviet use is to create playlists that would have consistent and precise meta information. Before we started with semantic hierarchy, there was extension dynamic pages 3, and that was possible to create actually a playlist without video gallery, but it was not, it's not suitable for production. It was really slow even with small queries and very limited presentation options. So it never went to production, was tested only, but it gave initial representation. Okay, let's go for the next slide. You should see it. Yes. So for explorations, some of you may be intimately familiar with this, Wikidata. If you enrich your, your, your media wiki or something, if you mine data, you <coughs> may know this very well. Okay, next slide. And you may be even familiar with this, Spark and Wikidata, but at the initial, initial attempts to use this, where it works, Linked Wikipedia works, Linked Wiki extension works, but it's not particularly fast, and you never know what exactly you get in your data. So, it was really a question, what do we want to use? And there is again a decision, what options we have for your data, if you want to manage your data. There is also the page describing for a decision. So we try to check Wikibase. This is extremely demanding to install. Spark is okay, but I am not a fan of Sparkle. And it's got limited presentation options. Cargo is a form of a semantic media wiki concentrated of forms. But semantic media key was like the best choice of them. It's got it's got all it's all ask query with SQL query like language and playlist format that, that you can custom that you can format on your own. And also, also the format. So that's what that's what the strengths of semantic media wiki. Why it was actually chosen, and actually it's compatibility with PHP 8.1 and 139 because we have to use here something that is stable. I like also to mention one uh, website that really helped us in decision, which was Codec, which is for Celtic studies, and it was inspiration for media wiki installation configuration. So now we can get to the core of the letter. Let's get to number nine. So initial proof of concept was to create a video playlist with consistent and precise meta information. You may be familiar with this. This is also in semantic media with the documentation, but we need something more than random. So we knew it was possible, so now it was a question of proving it. And now, when we come to that, you install a media, you install a semantic media wiki. Administrative documentation is really good. We managed on the first attempt, actually, the second attempt, but, with, but now what? Now it comes the question. You've got semantic media wiki installed, you want to get your results, and you have absolutely no idea what are you going to do about it. So for users, the best way really is put fake it till you make it. Choose your three fake pa three web pages, three fake pages, create fake properties, whatever three properties, and create your first query and see some results. There is no way about going around and just start playing with sem semantic video like in small way. Also, read your documentation. This is something that you, as a new user, you will time and around and repeat and repeat, really. And once you get some gist of it, you do it. My, I, my thinking is that this should be looked upon as a, from the point of view of new user and go away and review it. So the biggest obstacle, as, as we have it, is understand how it works and how to utilize it. So, Every time we have data, idea what we want to do with data, and then what we did. So exploration was there, and after about three months of exploration and doing various stuff, we came finally some results. All of us appreciated about the implementation of semantic media wiki. It's so flexible. 
For the length of a word, a illustration, so the verb and the properties are defined directly in the page or using some definition. This is totally insecure alpha data, but it was used as well. Second possibility that we also use, the property outside defined in the template is used on the page. And it rather insulates semantic variability from all the rest. So common common editors actually need to know nothing about semantic variability or that is implemented. They just pass a parameter to the template, template equals a property, and it's all done. Third option, which is also was used, is the properties are sent if the page is in a separate namespace, kind of create our own wiki data. And it was used in the solution or in the first solution. So semantic video wiki gave us all the options we needed, and we just needed to start utilizing them. So after three months of the, this, we got something. Concept proof. So plus page, this is the original audio. I hope you can see my mouse moving. This was manual time, prototypes, inconsistent, in inconsistent information. After this, we got this. And this really proved the concept. We got the query. There's no information type, it's query. And we got all the English metadata with everything that we know. So that was concept proved. And that was done after three months using media, semantic media wiki. So it was the first part. And then we put, I would say, wash, rinse, and repeat. So, it, so the concept was successfully proved. And it meant that was. Ah. And if we went slightly, slightly farther, this is the product proof of concept, but another, you know, queries are starting spreading, and the echoes and properties also are created new, so we got new and new queries and new and new results. So from just the playlist, we got the player albums, and then it would set something like Propertification or semantification of the wiki. So spreading of purpose queries across wiki. The second project was volume stream database. There were only about a thousand pages existing. This data in the media wiki already, one wiki about the, about the strings. And we need to simply propertify those pages. So after a couple of thousands of edits, we got it set up. And we got quickly the results. So page, page, pages were exactly semantified. So final result was easy. So we got list of volume strings that were all in there. So we got everything here. And it's all semantic media query. It was just data on the page. With what data or in on the page that was prototyped and later used in the query. So, semantification or propertification, however you like to call it. What is the best uh, also, uh, property of uh, semantic media activity? You cannot use uh, Wikitext in uh, properties, but actually, you can use templates in properties that call proper HTML which is allowed. Some HTMS is allowed. So this is actually template calling from the property. And wash, rinse and repeat. It went farther and farther. So we got another. Valid string sets and tension charts. We got strings, string sets. And slowly, project went on and on. And we got individual string and attentions. Something that the users look for, usually. And it's another slide. It's a practical example of really abuse of event uh, calendar format. Because, you know, this is what we needed. Something like for, for 
featured pages to always look for this information and needs to be always look via categories, which is extremely un uncomfortable. So, a uh, composer page that composer page that template they for anniversaries like data was already there, just a template was added and then just query. So this is really not event for usual use of event calendar format, but I would say it was abused successfully. And semantic media like is spread in wiki on and on. You know, there's also featured content, like Wikipedia has it, we also need to have it. It was a big example. Uh, Wikipedia has this template with time, time in the name. So this is the stuff that is done on NWP every, every time we prepare templates for a time period. But trouble is that you have to prepare all the time, forever, and it's happening with these pages. So what we did, this is now semantic media wiki. This is a query with its to the customer format. It provides the same results, but now it's automatic with no more work to be done. And that's all fine. And this is also semantic media wiki on the left. And it's all for today. Also, it was prepared the same way, like time, like time template, and you decide which which edit you want or which day. That is it was paid over. They have to update edit pages with the date they want to see, uh, present them as featured as featured at e. But now it's automatic, forever. No more work, no more templates, no more cluttering wiki space. It's all there. It just property find the pa pages or semantification of pages you need and then do your queries. So that was another area. Not the last. One of the best areas that now MediaWiki is also done, semantic MediaWiki can be used to for wiki gardening. You know, previously it was done with maintenance categories, hidden and templates. And that's not very comfortable. It cut a page with categories for interest, but uh, what we started to use is actually gardening properties. While wiki is structured, there are page types like composer page, piece page, book page, edition pages, and the pages also have structured content as well. So now meta templates are placed under the appropriate page sections, indicating the status, what should be done or not. And queries are showing exactly what the status of pages is, what is missing where, kind of dashboard that telling us where should be things finished. So that was another unexpected use of semantic media wiki. So after about nine months of media wiki production, the results are here. We got some additive properties, but the number will grow when we find the useful use. Most of the properties are defined as text, even though different data could be sometimes used, but uh, we sometimes we couldn't implement it. For example, duration was best level it is, even if the number would be better, but it's not possible to present it. Record type was also used, so we got mostly text, some Boolean dates, number and pages. Some text may be made into pages as well, because there are simply properties like conductor, which we don't have time implement conductors, but they can be made into pages. So there are some data properties and wiki gardening properties. And uh, if we go with statistics to go on, after nine months, we got about four seven queries, and finally using the eight formats, mostly used this playlist because it gives us customization and can this we can only present some tables we should pick a table uh, table format for showing the table format data. Data tables was also with various format and some special exceptional formats used in some cases. During the first year, we got 120 templates dealing with semantic media wiki only, and only properties and queries are used at the moment. Sub objects, uh, we are coming to so that should be used, like, but we have a still different use case, how it should be applied properly on success page. So we have maybe we'll ask a question in the email or something like that. It was always using a new property. 
Concepts were not unobtrusive yet. They were used shortly and we haven't seen anything faster. So in the future we will test them again. And let's now pass for the... Ah, sh shoot. Sorry. This thing went in the wrong way. Okay. So after nine months, results, you have seen the results. We also have some issues as well. Pagination is the biggest for us because our results will start pretty big. They don't fit into one page. And we are struggling with that. We got a workaround for this that we really create big pages. I increasing the parameter of what is available on one page all the time, but something like data tables format, that would be a really, really huge help. With search, we, we managed to make a search in our properties using page form, but we might successfully only search it for one value, and if there's a lot of, lot of values in that value, a couple of thousand, it's not from, so, Search form, but search form that we can use in those for multiple properties and give some customized output would be good. Which also brings us to grouping queries. We use a workaround for value, value rank, but this output can be very customized. So it's just really something that are issues for us. And the last one, but not least, we finally, because we found that about 50% of our users are using mobile, and we found that some outputs are not really compatible. We, we will uh, uh, investigate deeper and provide feedback because there was something we found recently and it's there. And, but at least. So that was like implement very shortly, very shortly put down. And conclusion was that semantic media wiki is really integral part of media wiki after nine months. It would be possible to create those pages manually, but it would be huge effort and uh, to simply create actual consistencies and data integrity of the whole wiki. It has all for the future that semantic media wiki stays as it is, even if the future version of media wiki, which we are a bit scared when we come to 143, that will be work as, as before, and it also at the state stay and that will not become unmaintained like some other extension we used in the past and unfortunately they are gone now. So we hope that media, semantic media wiki stays with media wiki. So that was very quick with the presentation guys and if you have any question you can ask okay. Thank or you. If, if it you can you can also put them in the chat. I will online for three days in YouTube and okay. in uh, Element, so you can put any questions there and I will answer them. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? I, I, I can totally relate because um, user documentation could be better, I agree. <laughs> But uh, it seems that you that you that you fell in love with semantic media wiki, which is what happens if you if you dare to go the route. A question? Uh, can I speak without microphone? It, yes, uh, but maybe can you come up so so, so you can you can hear you better? I don't have a microphone yet. I just wanted to say thank you for this sincere description of the journey of the newcomer. It makes me memorize my first experience with semantic media wiki years ago and I just want to mention that for grouping you can try the outline for a format. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very okay. much, Pavel. Um, so I hope you, okay, will, that, you, that, you will be watching and next time, uh, next year, we ho hope to see you in person. Well, that's good enough, sure. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.